And now it's time to have some fun. Maybe uh, I'm gonna show you my room. Show you the rest of the house that y'all have never seen yet before. In recent news, YouTuber Jake Paul had his house raided by the FBI, which has everyone talking. And yes, this is the same mansion that Jake threw the massive, clearly no social distancing party at, despite the worldwide pandemic. Since you and I probably aren't getting invited to his mega mansion anytime soon, I figured a house tour would be the next best thing. Well, take a look at the huge estate Jake calls home in Calabasas. Yes, the one that the FBI just raided and more. Well, Jake Paul's attorney says he was out of state and not at his Calabasas home during that raid today. I even found some of the listings. Jake Paul is a YouTuber, internet personality, and actor. He rose to fame on the now defunct video app Vine and also played the role of Dirk Man on the Disney Channel series Bizarre Vark for two seasons. Jake has often become the subject of controversies throughout his career due to his behavior. This includes risky stunts for YouTube, getting fired from his Disney show, and more. So this FBI raid at his mansion, not the first time Jake has found himself in some hot water with the law. You can find a list of all those incidents over on Wikipedia, just saying. In fact, his crazy mansion party that pissed everyone off last month during the pandemic already made it to his wiki page along with the even more recent FBI raid, but I'll touch on that more a little later. Although the numbers vary, Jake's current estimated net worth is at about $19 million or more, give or take. So we can all agree the young man is doing pretty well for himself. And with one look at his mega mansion, you'll be even more convinced. Hey guys, it's Kara, and today we're doing another house tour here on Famous Entertainment. We're gonna be taking a look at where infamous YouTuber Jake Paul calls home, like his mega mansion in Calabasas that always seems to make the headlines and more. If you like these videos, make sure you're subscribed and ring that bell to be notified when we post so you can always be up to date. We've also done house tours on the hype house and celebs like Joe Rogan, and we'll link to some at the end. Follow me on Instagram to chat, and as usual, let me know whose house tour is next in those comments down below. Now let's get into this video. Guys, I just found out that we got a house. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Before the current mega mansion, Jake Paul and his entourage were living in another mansion, what was dubbed the previous Team 10 house. What's up? I'm Jake Paul, I'm a Snapchat creator and actor, and this is my home. Come check it out. If you follow Jake or his channel, you've undoubtedly seen this modern mansion, and these days, plenty of kids are visiting the spot to try and get some clothes themselves. Alrighty, I changed Jake Paulers. That was an awesome day for us. Make sure you guys are subscribed to see us every day. According to records, Jake started renting this mansion in June 2016 and lived here for about a year with his squad. Oh, and rent was far from cheap. Apparently, it was setting him back over 17k per month. But I mean, when you're pulling in millions like Jake, you can afford those kinds of bills. Come on. Come on. Jake's previous modern McMansion was over 4,000 square feet of space with 5 beds and 5.5 baths. It was previously a Spanish style duplex, but building permits show a new house was built on the site right before Jake and his pals moved on in. It was located in West Hollywood, right in the action, in a neighborhood called Beverly Grove. According to listing materials, walking onto the property, you're greeted with an open, airy, atrium style courtyard, and inside the home, there's a grand entry and two family rooms with white oak flooring. The floor plan allows the chef's kitchen with state of the art appliances to easily open up to the entertainer's backyard. Jake's previous Team 10 home also featured smart home technology throughout, integrating lights, climate, fireplaces, security, cameras, gates, and more, all through the touch of an iPad. On the grounds, there were features like a barbecue station, sunbathing deck, and saltwater pool and spa. Of course, the property was fully gated and hedged for complete privacy. Although Jake may have been making his friends and his millions of subscribers happy, he was making his Beverly Grove neighbors miserable. Since living in the modern rental home, allegedly Jake was using the house's Ground zero for loud parties and stunts, including lighting furniture on fire in the pool and popping wheelies on a dirt bike. While living here, he even publicized the address so fans and their parents would regularly line the streets. Jake admitted that he had indeed created some miserable conditions on the street. But he said, there's nothing we can do. He later tweeted that it's crazy people care about him being a terrible neighbor because there are bigger fish to fry. Despite all this drama, it would appear Jake has moved to Calabasas only to cause more chaos just in a bigger and better mansion. Now I think it is flipping time. 
to do the new Team 10 house, house tour. In 2017, Jake moved and this time he bought the home. Located in Calabasas, California, this neighborhood is only for celebrities and the super rich, with neighbors like Jeffree Star, the Kardashians, and more. Jake spent about $7 million on this mega mansion according to records, and it sits on 3.5 acres of sprawling land. With claims that his neighbors at the old place were trying to kill him, it makes sense that Jake would have to move. His current mansion was built in 1990 and recently remodeled. Oh my god, it's a god church. I never thought this day would come. Inside, it spans 15,045 square feet with 8 beds, 12 baths, incredibly high ceilings, and large rooms. Walking in, there's an impressive three-story foyer with spiral staircase and large columns. Not to mention other common spaces like the two-story great room, formal dining room, family room, and music room. And then it truly started to set in how flippin' big this house really is. The home seems to be designed with a family in mind, but Jake indicated when moving in that he would be sharing it with Team 10. The gourmet kitchen has a total of four ovens, as well as a coffee maker and temperature-controlled wine closet. There's also a breakfast room nearby for more casual dining. Other rooms include a second floor home office slash library with a unique design, a home theater with wet bar, and a fully equipped gym. Jake's master suite here has a kitchenette and a spa-like bath with oversized shower showcasing Bluetooth music, aromatherapy, and steam. There are also two huge built-out closets and a retreat and viewing balcony with views of the mountains. Not to mention, according to the listing, there's secret paths throughout the bookcases between rooms. Elsewhere in the mega mansion, there's an additional self-contained guest apartment with kitchen. Outdoor features of Jake's home include a gated entrance, motor court, garage, balconies and patios, two barbecues and an amazing swimming pool complete with spa and waterfalls. Now this lovely mansion of Jake's has been in the news yet again so if it looks familiar I'm not surprised. Like I mentioned the drama definitely followed him from the Beverly Grove home to this place but lucky for Jake spending millions of dollars has landed him with enough acres to stay further away from angry neighbors. Guys this is our killing contraption for any haters. Stick him in here, close this up, and then these things start to come forward. Please don't hate on it. Despite the global pandemic, last month Jake threw a massive party at his Calabasas estate with dozens and dozens of people attending. Of course, without masks and no social distancing. After complaints from neighbors and videos surfacing on social media, even the mayor of Calabasas had to step in. She expressed outrage, stating, They're having this large party, no social distancing, no masks, it's just a big, huge disregard for everything that everybody is trying to do to get things back to functioning. She later added that the city was looking into their options regarding penalties for Jake. And this was only one of the latest incidents at Jake's home. Even more recently, the FBI made an appearance, raiding the YouTuber's mega mansion on August 5th. Although no arrests have been made and the FBI won't release any significant information, we can see that they seized a bunch of guns from his property. Apparently all they're saying is that the raid has to do with an ongoing investigation. So yes, the FBI did take some guns from Jake's property, but we don't yet know why. In the past, Jake hasn't been too shy of showing that he owns guns, and they have appeared in the background of some of his videos too. So now we've taken a look at Jake Paul's mansions, including the previous Beverly Grove rental where his neighbors absolutely despised him, and his current mega home in Calabasas that's been headlining the news recently. After looking at the places Jake's lived, which was your fave? I mean, I think his current mansion is the obvious choice. He's got a three-story entryway, an amazing pool with waterfalls, an aromatherapy shower, and even secret pathways behind bookcases. Need I say more? Be sure to let me know down in the comments, as well as which celebrity homes we should do next. I've been reading all of your comments as usual, and I love the suggestions, so keep them coming. Keep your eye out for some more athlete house tours that you guys have asked for, like Odell Beckham Jr. and Russell Wilson. If I should do more YouTube house tours like the Graffiti Mansion or like the LeBrant family, let me know. Follow me on Instagram if you want to chat. Be sure to like, hit subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye!